British Guiana is one of the very first countries to use postage stamps. Stamps were invented in Great Britain in 1840, and a decade later, British Guiana was one of only three countries in the New World to issue stamps. But in 1856, they ran out, and the postmaster had to ask the printer of the newspaper to print a contingency supply of stamps. There were two denominations, the four cent, which is very rare, but does survive in multiple copies, and the one cent. Only one of those has ever been known since this example was first discovered in 1873. It's more than just the rarity. It's the, the romance that it was printed just 16 years after the first stamp was produced. People expected other examples to turn up, and yet none ever have. In 1873, a 12-year-old Louis Vernon Vaughan found the stamp. He decided to trade it to another stamp collector in British Guiana who had access to some of the more colorful and exciting looking stamps. It traded hands in the next year, and by 1879, it had found its way into the collection of Philippe Ferrare, who was still considered the greatest stamp collector of all time. This remained the crown jewel of his collection for over 40 years. Count Ferrari was actually an Austrian, but he was living in Paris. When he died, World War I was still ongoing, and his assets were seized by the French government. The French authorities decided to hold an auction and claim that the proceeds were part of the war reparations owed to France by Germany. And the highest price of all of those 22 auctions was the equivalent of $35,000 paid for this very humble-looking stamp from British Guiana. The buyer in the 1922 sale was Arthur Hine. Like Ferrari, he had a passion for stamps, and he commissioned an agent to go after this. Evidently, his bid and the bid of another agent representing another private collector were very close. It's long been speculated that the underbidder was King George V of Great Britain. And in fact, to this very day, the one cent 1856 Magenta is the only British colonial stamp that's lacking from the Royal Philatelic Collection. Hein died in 1935, and it was expected that the stamp would be consigned with the rest of his collection to a major auction. However, his wife claimed that he had actually given that stamp to her. She held on to it for a few years and exhibited it in 1940 at the New York World's Fair. It may have been seen in the World's Fair by an Australian named Frederick Small. He bought it in 1940 from Mrs. Hine for $45,000. Small decided to consign it for sale in 1970. It set another record, $285,000, and it was purchased by a stamp dealer from Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, Erwin Weinberg. Weinberg was very upfront that he had bought the stamp as an investment, and for 10 years, he did everything that he could to promote the stamp. He reconsigned it in 1980. It was purchased by John DuPont, an heir to the DuPont fortune, and it went from 285,000 to 935,000. Again, and for the third time, a new record for a single stamp. People have devoted their lives to stamps. For decades, have never had a chance to see and handle the British Guiana. Thank you.